Welcome to Portugal. It took me more than a month to come here, even though the original plan was 12 days, maybe two weeks. But uh, because the, pe the people that I have met and the places that I have seen were so interesting that I couldn't make it faster. Anyway, I am on this road for more than an hour and I cannot stop smiling. It is wonderful, as you can see, brand new. And it is just the beginning of my trip. So far, it is going absolutely travel free. Bike is brilliant. I hope it will finish like this because I am not here to look for adventures. I just need to complete the trip successfully. On this side, it's way, way better. You can see the church over there. Some local art. This now is nice. The old bridge, subway, channel, and the old town. The cathedral is there. I'm gonna walk around now. Wonderful, very, very impressive. The old city of Porto is really, really impressive. It is, I think, 10 to 7, not even 7 o'clock now. I'm awake from 5 o'clock. I got breakfast, I made plans, I draw on the map. And it is still too early. I'm in Foz. And today I have to reach Porto, Portugal. It's around 500 kilometers, not much. But you never know, it's a road, better is to start on time. So once again, this was the hostel that I stayed, Ancora Hostel. 15 euros, excellent stop here. Uh, I made it really, really cheap. I'm pleased, pleased with the, the money that I saved. And what was the most important, I relaxed very well. Because the whole room was for me. Let's see now what today will bring. Any changes, any problems. It is 16 degrees. I've got my rain gear underneath just because it is cold now. I might remove it later. It has some kind of mist which is also like a wet mist. I hope it is not going to rain, but it is what it is. I have the GPS to guide me out of the town and then I already have the map. Uh, it's there is no difficult in in the roads a few moments that I have to be careful and That's it Because it is too early nothing works here I'm gonna have my coffee on the first open place that I can see Maybe a petrol station or something like that Whatever these are not the best conditions to ride a motorcycle but it is so beautiful with this fog and with all of this mist and, and green everywhere. Uh, it is one of those moments that I really enjoyed. Unfortunately, <laughs> I have to remove the camera because from all of this dampness, it is going to stop. It is not waterproof, but at least to got something before I remove it. After one hour fog and light rain, it stopped and I am back in the game. Of course today uh, it will be the same as yesterday. I'm gonna avoid the highways and ride on the secondary roads. I've got like uh, 400 kilometers all together. So uh, the GPS said that I'll be there at 2 o'clock but I'll do it slowly. I'll make a lot of stops because I don't need to be there before 5. I have fog again. It looks like it will be like this until maybe 9 or 10 when the temperature rises a bit. Exactly what I thought, around 9.30, 10 o'clock, finally the fog went away and now I have perfect riding conditions, 24 degrees, sunny, dry asphalt, perfect.
think that it's the right moment to stop and eat something. It's uh, 11.30 and this place looks good and I have time. Very, very good. Now after the break, I still got like 140 kilometers to Porto, which is mean around two hours. It is 28 degrees at the moment, but uh, when I check the forecast, they said 22 for Porto. Hard to believe it from here, but they might be right. Anyway, as you can see, the road is nice. So I can enjoy it in the next two hours. Actually, I'm very close to the border, maybe around 40 more kilometers and I will enter Portugal. Welcome to Portugal. It took me more than a month to come here even though the original plan was 12 days, maybe two weeks but uh, because the, pe the people that I have met and the places that I have seen were so interesting that I couldn't make it faster anyway, I am on this road for more than an hour and I cannot stop smiling it is wonderful, as you can see, brand new and it is just the beginning of my trip so far it is going absolutely travel free bike is brilliant i hope it will finish like this because i'm not here to look for adventures i just need to complete the trip successfully in the afternoon it is 27 degrees and the GPS said 62 kilometers one hour and 30 minutes more likely like this and also half of the road is in Porto I guess there will be some traffic and stuff like that so uh, one and a half hours more to my final destination for today this is Braga it's a big town Without the GPS, <laughs> I don't know how to find the roads. Not in the town, not in this, this part of the world. It took me like half an hour and uh, I can easily find the directions on the highways, but I am not on the highways. I also try to avoid not only paid highways, any highways. And when you're looking for secondary roads, to get to the point that you need it's a little tricky that's why I need the GPS now I got it why it's so slow because all of these towns and villages are interconnected and this is all with traffic and traffic lights and roundabouts Maybe it's a better idea just to get the highway But anyway, I'll know it for the future This is already Porto And I'm very very close to the uh, Hotel that I booked Through BNB I hope I'll be able to find it soon This is the room, it is nothing special just a single room with good bed and internet and the bathroom and the toilet is on the floor but the price is only 25 euros for Porto this is a very good deal and also it is around 500 meters away from the city center where I am going now and the best of everything is that it has garage let me show the garage this is where my motorcycle is so I don't need to take the back, it has a safe door, I've got the remote control, so all good. 
As I told you, the center is only 500 meters away and it is very, very impressive, especially the bridge and old buildings. And this is exactly what I plan to show you now. Let's start with this church, which is already impressive. But the view from here, or the bridge, and the old town on the other side, is fantastic. It's against the, the sun now, but I'm gonna switch my position to over there. On this side, it's way, way better. You can see the church over there. Some local art. This now is nice. The old bridge, the subway, the channel, and the old town. The cathedral is there. I'm gonna walk around now. Wonderful, very, very impressive. The old city of Porto is really, really impressive. Let's now go and walk on that bridge. These are the sizing boats and this is the same church on the top but now when the light illuminates everything. And all down there, and the wooden boats. This is the cathedral. The inside has got these blue tiles that are famous for Portugal. It was built in the 12th century and this square is even more impressive. And this is the old town with all these beautiful facades. And tiny streets, a lot of restaurants, coffees. Let's walk around.
this is the city hall and the end point of my walk from here i'm gonna go back slowly and will make still pictures with my camera before sunset the bridge is very very nice and the view is even better you can't really see it because of the sun but so they really impressed me really <laughs> 